How's it going everyone? We're here to check out some more Once Human and this season was pretty much just a redo or I should say this phase or whatever you want to call it, this wipe was all the same stuff so I didn't really have anything new to record but I did want to go ahead and save my base because I really liked how it turned out. It kind of turned into like a mossy villa kind of thing. So I'm over here in Chalk Peak as you'll see there is the monolith right here. There's tall grass and I'm way 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 over here on this river and this river is considered polluted so you can use your deviant generators and you can produce acid so that's a nice thing here and you'll see I actually have a pump over here in the clean water for clean water so that that's been interesting so it's working funky but we kind of went for like a mossy planted up villa this time around and uh, I think I like how it turned out we kind of have like a little front lobby right here and then you can go down into our basement I really want a basement because I want it to be like the production area and I think this turned out pretty well. I like how you can kind of see outside and everything. And uh, yeah, this is just kind of like the main little production zone. We got our acid coming down to over here with some pure water. That's a portal over to the greenhouse, which we'll check out shortly. And then I didn't know what to do with the other side, so I turned it into an underground pool. So you can go and do some uh, swimming around or whatever have you. And uh, yeah, you can even look out. There's a big viewing window and there's even like a lounge corner where you can actually go ahead and sit down in like the jacuzzi corner. So I, I really wish our decorative budget was so much more than just 200. It's just not enough. But uh, yeah, we didn't do too much with the fish, but we saw, you know, we have some around here and there. We got a little lethal bunny in our kitchen. We've got our full acid set up going on around here. I kind of made like a whole kitchen counter, integrated the stove into it a little bit, which was fun. And then over on this side, we have some of our active deviants. So we've got our little friends over here, our gold and crystal digby. It's so fun collecting all the different versions of the deviations this time around. We also have a Alice bunny, or no, sorry, a uh, toxic bunny over here, Dark Revel. So we got some of that going on. And then uh, we can go ahead and go upstairs. And this is kind of like the decorative like lobby. You've got your wish machine. You've got a cool little place to hang out. She sure loves playing that piano that way. <laughs> that always seems to glitch out. Really weird, but we've got our little balcony which outlooks into our greenhouse and garage and animals. As you'll see here, we got a little confetti. Woo, fun. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if we head over this way past our depressed chef of source, we've got our water production. And then we've got all our other little deviants that we're using right now, all hanging out in their different containers. And if you didn't know, the Persian or Moonlit Jewels cat actually has this great ability, which is daydreaming. And it makes your deviants recover so Basically, I don't have to go and put mood into the ones that are active. You'll see they're always just active. There's no mood. They're just always full of power. And that's actually a really nice thing. If you combine that with some other stuff, it could uh, it could be really, really useful. It, it keeps your digbies and beavers and stuff going on constantly, which is cool. Then up here, we got like a little hangout loft. It's kind of like the, the plotting area and bar. So we've got a nice little bar over here with some fish tanks. We've got that galaxy ceiling and so forth. I definitely love a lot of these cosmetic packs uh, for building. They've done some cool stuff. And then if we go over here, we have our room. Nice little view of the river. Little fireplace. And you can see we're starting to get the stardust pollution over here. We've got ourselves a bathroom door open there we go uh, no toilet in game still so we've got a sofa chair <laughs> we got our bathtub and everything else here definitely been a really fun build so I guess we can go ahead and take a look downstairs real quick we're gonna go and head across our bridge we've got a nice little fountain you can see down into the basement from here love how this turned out I can just really see through all the different areas of it. If we head across this bridge, we can get to 
our greenhouse and in the greenhouse we were doing half acid plants so wheat and berries are pretty much the same so I just kind of like the look of them both so I had one of each and then uh, we were growing mushrooms here and then all the other crops here but uh, I needed a ton of corn to make feed for my animals so that's why we have a ton of corn right now but yeah we have our little buzzy bee over here with their plant and uh, one thing that's real nice, being in a acid area, when it rains, this fills up with a ton of polluted water. So I get a bunch of extra free polluted water from the rain catchers, which is really nice. All right, and then if we head over through here, it goes to our garage and power. So we've got all our deviant generators. We've got five electric eels going right here of our little garage. This just heads up onto the roof. You see those water collectors and such. Then if we go ahead and come down here, you can see our animal pens, and uh, yeah, we've got a leopard, we've got a sleepy goat, we got a flamingo, and we've got some pigs that are all S tier and trying to breed, so that's pretty fun. Oh look, goat milk. So yeah, the animal system still needs a ton of work, but I'm excited to see where it goes, it's definitely gonna be a fun one and then I had this actually is usually open but I had this blocked off because I kept having snapping turtles crawl in here and attack my animals so that was really really annoying but if we go ahead and into building mode we'll just kind of take a bit of an aerial view and there we have it that was the base this time around. I hope you guys enjoyed checking it out. If you have any building tips or stuff, I'd love to hear it. Or if there's a certain way you want me to build my base next time, let me know. I will happily check out all those requests. But that's going to do it, everyone. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.